What's up, people? Today we're going to be learning about object dot syntax. At least that's what I call it. Um, first, you need an object. Currently, our box of pickles is not that. Uh, we're going to have to remove the label, sadly. Actually, no. We'll keep the label. And you can press. I think it's F8. Yeah, F8. Um, name this box of pickles. Um, you can either have it as a movie clip or a graphic. Those are nah, not a graphic. My bad. A movie clip or a button, because those are probably the best for handling. I usually go with movie clip because you know you can do a lot more with that. So it basically goes. You can do a lot, a little less. Actually, you could do about the same. None at all. It's very hard to control graphics, at least for me. There, you have to do it differently. Anyways, uh, orientation in the middle. Now we got a box of pickles. Let's get the properties. Now all of our objects on the stage need an instance name. It's kind of like a variable name. Sure, we have it, but it has no variable. We have no way to contact it and say box of pickles do something so let's do just that we'll call it um moth pickles so we got a movie of pickles you can name it like moth box of pickles or something but I like moth pickles keeps it simple and stuff like that now basically anything you see here you can kind of um, do it in action script so you can change the X and Y the width the height I'm not sure about the 3d part so we'll leave that change any of the brightness tint advanced and alpha I'm not so sure about the display either but anyways you're probably wondering how do we do that well first one sec I'm gonna get rid of this crap not needed. First we have to call it by just like the variable name we have to call it and then use dot syntax so you put a period and then you could control its properties so you could control its x, y, width so let's do that. Um, its current is 146 so we're gonna make it zero. Um, first, we'll see what it looks like. It's not loaded. Normal box of pickles. Now let's remove that comment tag. You can see it moved over based on the x coordinate. Um, really do that with any of them. So, mob pickles dot y equals 200. Is that right now? So it's gonna move downward? Yeah, downward. And you could, yeah, then you could do like width, or actually let's do alpha. Alpha. Um, point one. Uh, alpha is by zero to one range I know that cuz like some cool mostly <laughs> anyways so that's there's not much to dot syntax I mean really you just put a dot and then you have to know the properties and you're probably wondering like man Ivan how do you know all these properties well you were to go into this is what this is for so you go to fl dot I got this I think I got this here you go dot display well we're running a movie so we go to movie clip then you do properties these are all the properties it has so we'll have an X, Y, width, visible, 
um, scale x, scale y, rotation x, rotation y. That those are for um, 3D. But this is the one you want. So rotation, move pickles dot rotation equals 290. And if you don't know these values, um, yeah, that works. Let me get rid of this alpha here so you can actually see it. Whoa, there's a box of pickles rotated. Uh, you could view the help. And you can view the help if this wasn't frozen. Well, usually you can view the help. Here we go. Help. It's probably going to take forever to load, so we'll go back. Anyways, while that's loading, um, you could just pre-download the help pack so you don't have to get the data from the server. I don't do that because I, I usually have a fast internet. See, uh, values from 0 to 180. Values outside this range are added or subtracted from 360. So in other words, it's usually from 0 to 180. So I kind of failed there. Um, yeah. One sec. The property of go all the way up here. See public properties. We got alpha, blend shader, filters. Oh, you could you could screw with the filters as well. Height, mouse X, mouse Y. Oh, that's position on that object. So you could kind of like move it based on where. A lot of properties. Scale X and scale Y. It's very helpful. Visible. So, all these are really great, um, really great values to screw with. So, you could kind of screw with your box of pickles here. We're going to move this back so we can see the rotation a lot better. Yeah, that looks cool. So anyways, um, that's dot syntax. As you can see, there's not much to it. You have to name your uh, your symbols that you create with an instance name, just like you do variables. And after that, you can use dot syntax to uh, obtain the like data, like the x and the y of it. Graphics are a little bit different, but we'll go into that later. Not much this tutorial. Uh, next tutorial we'll be going into event handlers where we could like as long as we hold down the mouse button then we will rotate this 10 degrees or something like that so um, yeah stick with us and it's kinda getting cool got your uh, box of pickles rotated see you next tutorial guys